Hiya, and welcome to my guide how to complete Grim Tales. The quest requirement is Witch's House and the stat requirements are 45 Farming, 52 Herbal, 58 Thieving, 59 Agility and 71 Woodcutting. All of these stats can be boosted. I just need it. 2 Terran Potions unfinished, a Sea Dibber which might not be needed anymore after you have completed the Barbarian Farming Training. One watering can with at least one use and any kind of axe. For the recommended items, one stamina potion should be enough. Then also some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill a Comet 138 at the end of the quest. This boss drains your prayer quite a lot, so having minimum two prayer potions should be helpful. As for the gear, the boss is weakest against magic and you don't even need positive magic attack bonus. So you can wear proslight or rune armor if you want to with Ivan Blast or better. But if you have level 70 or higher in ranged or melee, then that is also fine. Then also some food to pass combat 88 monsters and also three empty inventory slots. For the teleport, I'm gonna be bringing along four teleport to Taverly. I have just moved my house to Taverly. Then also two teleport to the Mind Altar. These are also available at the Grand Exchange in teleport tablet form if you're not going to be using the Archaea spellbook. One bank teleport to prepare for the boss fight at the end of the quest if you need to. And finally, after the quest is completed, one teleport to the Dwarven Mine just a bit east so we can complete a Falador Hard Diary task. Where to start this quest is here, pretty close to the Witch's House quest, just next to the Taverly House portal. Let's talk to Silas and keep pressing space. He has some magical beans in his possession and when planted, magic will happen. He's willing to trade them for two other rare trinkets. Once you see a multiple choice option, don't do anything, just go south. And let's go on to White Wolf Mountain. To cross White Wolf Mountain there are two paths. The inner path, the dangerous one with wolves, or the outer path. Make a U-turn and take the eastern outer path. And keep going north until you see Grimnash the Griffin. If you see a small bridge, uh, go a bit west and follow the icy path. And there, near the dead bush, they should find Grim Gnash. Let's stand in front of it, just south, and then try to talk to it. And select option 1, 1, 2, 4, 4, 3, and then anything to your liking. The griffin cannot sleep because of the howling wolves, and we need to tell it a bedtime story about death, torture and destruction. The griffin likes grim tales. If you do not select the most grim option, you will get dealt one fifth of your current HP. So just select 112, 443, and then anything. It's starting to get a little drowsy, and now you just can't select anything, doesn't matter. Once we have put the griffin to sleep, Let's take the feathers on the floor just next to it. And next, let's return to Silas to deliver item number one out of two. You can simply run south or teleport to the Taverly House portal using a scroll of redirection or a house tablet. Let's talk to Silas and next we will need to go to the Mind Altar. You can use the Mind Altar teleport on the Archaeus spellbook, the Mind Altar tablet from the Grand Exchange or made yourself in Archaeus, or simply run east from the below Ice Mountain quest, just go a bit northwest to the tower. On the eastern side of the tower you'll find a crumbling wall. Climb over. Then in the northeastern corner, talk into the drain pipe. Rupert will hear the voice of God, but you tell him that you're just talking through a drain pipe. He will tell you that the princess is holding him hostage.
Let's talk into the drain pipe once again and select option 2 twice. I could try to climb up. Is there anything to help? And then Rupert will let down his beard. Simply click on the door to climb his beard up into the tower. Then let's talk to Rupert. And after this conversation is over, let's right click on Rupert and climb down because we will need to talk to the princess on somehow releasing Rupert. Let's climb down. Return over the crumbling wall. And let's go north to the entrance of this tower. And let's talk to Mirzg. Select option 2, 4, 4. I'm looking for a dwarf. Second cousin twice removed. And then I need a key. Be sure that you have at least one empty inventory slot to get the house key of the witch's house. Once we have this key, let's return to Silas and enter the witch's house. Next, enter the northern room and go down into the basement. In the basement, in the southeastern corner, they'll find a piano. Let's try to play it. Next, we will need to press 10 keys to play 10 notes to open the secret compartment. The first note, starting from the right, is the fifth key. This is called upper E that you can see in the top left corner. Press it. Then one note to the right, upper F. Then it is note left, left, left. Upper E, D and C. For the next five notes, two more to the left, it is lower A. Then, starting from the left side, it is the third note, the lower E. Then, two more to the right, the lower G. And then one to the right, the lower A. Once you have this, click to continue and then right click on the piano and search. Yeah, be sure to have at least three empty inventory slots and then search the piano to find two notes, read both of them and then close. Then use the shrunk oogalak roots on both of your potions to make shrink me quick. Next, you've already read the notes, you do not need them anymore. Right, let's go back upstairs and go to the small room where we have attached a magnet to a mouse in the previous quest to disable the alarm. In this room, Drink the Shrink Me Quick to see a cutscene of you entering the mouse hole. In here, we will need to go up and down five nails, which are indicated on the minimap as wooden ladders. Be sure to always pay attention to your minimap. And we will need to go up and down until we found the lost pendant. No! No! Don't fucking misclick! Once we're down, let's go northeast. And there's only one ladder here. Let's climb up those nails. Next, go south. And go around the corner and there you'll find two ladders on your minimap. Let's take the northern one up. Then, a bit south, there's just one more ladder sign on the minimap. Next, go northeast. There, there's also a ladder sign. This one will need to go down. Then go a bit north, take the northeastern nails. And there, just a bit north, they'll find the lost pendant. Drop your vial, pick up the pendant. And next, we'll need to make our way back to the princess. So either teleport to the mine altar, or teleport to Falador, or go back the way you came from. Climbing up the nails that we came from will return you to the witch's house. Once we're back at the princess, let's talk to her and this will trigger another cutscene of you trading the pendant for the kidnapped dwarf. It kind of runs in the family, it seems, kidnapping since... She's the second cousin, second removed from the witch, and the witch also has kidnapped a dwarf.
After Rupert has been freed, let's continue the conversation with Rupert and you will receive his helmet. Let's deliver this to Silas to deliver item two out of two. The next thing that Silas will say is that the seeds are actually almost worthless. However, if we plant them just a bit southeast, next to the druid washing clothing, the seeds will grow massively all the way into the clouds. There, in the clouds, lies a goblin made of gold. But it is guarded by a giant doe. Once the conversation is over, let's go southeast to make an entrance into the boss room. Between the herbal shop and the tree patch, there is another farming patch. Let's use the magic beans on the center on the earth mount, the center of the patch. Then use your watering can on the center on the bean mount, and this will trigger another short cutscene of the beanstalk growing. After this short cutscene is over, it is time to go to the bank and prepare for the boss fight. The items that we do not need anymore are the seed dipper, the watering can, as well as the door key. Dismiss the drunken dwarf. And what we still need is basically everything else. Now what I came to realize is that you cannot use an item staff with the Arceus spellbook. So... Before starting the boss fight, let's be sure to set up your quick prayers. I just banged my Iben Blast, didn't I? You fucking... Once you think you are ready, let's climb the beanstalk and defeat the boss. So for the boss fight, have protect from melee up at all times. Then the boss also has four special attacks. The first one and the most common one is to drain and disable your prayer. Quickly drink a prayer potion, re-enable your prayers and start attacking again. The second special is Taunt, and this means that your character will run into melee distance. If you're using magic or range, just simply run away again. The third special attack will make you run away in fear. Just simply click on the boss again after the special is over. And the fourth and the final special only occurs when the boss is under half HP. And it will randomly, about every 9 ticks, will heal 20 hit points. Also, be sure to keep your hit points always above 25. Oh, was that it? Once you have defeated the boss, be sure to pick up the Golden Goblin and pick up anything you want and then return south to the beanstalk and let's climb down back to Silas or teleport using your final teleport to Taverly. But I fucked up way too much during this quest and I've used all my Taverly te teleports. Let's give this golden goblin to Silas and let's return to the beanstalk to get rid of the entrance to the boss room. To do this, we will need to use our Lost Shrink Me Quick Potion on the Beanstalk. If you do not have this second potion anymore, you will need to go to the sewers of Taverly. The entrance is in front of the Witch's House entrance, and there you'll find some combat 109 rats. Kill one for another Oglock Root. Put this in another unfinished Termin Potion to make another Shrink Me Quick Potion. You might want to get an additional Shrink Me Quick Potion if you want to do BA more professionally. Anyway, once the cutscene is over, let's use the axe on the beanstalk to do another cutscene. You'll say Timber. After this cutscene is over, let's return to Silas to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed Grim Tales. You are awarded with 60,000 woodcutting experience. 25,000 thieving and agility experience, 15,000 herb lore, 10,000 farming, and 5,000 hit points experience, as well as a dwarven helmet. 
And a Dwarven Helmet is the best in slot melee helm, giving you crush attack bonus. Or at least up until 2014 or so. Now, after this quest is completed, let's make our way to the Dwarven Mine. And here, equip the Dwarven Helm to complete a Felador Hard Diary task. And this was my guide how to complete Grimtail's quest. Hopefully it has helped. Separate comment, okay, thank you, bye.